that's not gonna work hi welcome back to the vlog welcome back i just thought i'd start off a vlog i'm actually doing this on saturday this is gonna be super quick we just got back from a road trip we went down i-5 to oregon we stayed one night in eugene we cut over to highway 101 drove down the coast and then met up with our friends in san francisco so i have a whole birthday road trip vlog kind of in the works but i just didn't want to rush it because this is kind of like my diary of the trip make a really cool home video that i want to look back on and i don't want to rush through it I had the best time today i thought it'd be fun to go through i was looking through looking through this old journal i have i used to journal in these sketchbooks so i would like draw and make mood boards and um like mind maps and stuff. I know I have a 40 before 40 list that I made when I turned 30. So I thought I would go through and kind of look at what I've accomplished on the list. I'm not gonna share everything, but I thought I could look through and share what I have accomplished. So I think that could be cool. First, I need to go get my coffee. I just boiled some water in the kettle. So let's go make a pour over and then we'll meet back here and do that portion of the vlog. And then also yesterday, I mentioned this in last week's anxious girly vlog that I am just an anxious girly. Like everything makes me anxious and I don't know how to get over that, but that's definitely a goal. So I think I went on a little tangent in my last vlog about all of the things I do to sort of distract myself from I guess like harder tasks so I'm calling that it's probably already been said before I feel like I am a productive procrastinator where I will put off the task that scares me the most or seems like the most daunting to me to do other tasks that are I think fairly simple that I can easily complete and will give me that like instant gratification of accomplishing something. So yesterday I did this. I was feeling completely overwhelmed with all of the footage that I wanted to edit and make a road trip vlog with. And I was just like, you know what? I need to not be at my computer today. So I went outside and I like completely got everything prepped and ready for fall. I took all the citrus plants in the greenhouse. I completely deep cleaned the greenhouse. Um, I took out the Mexican sunflower that was like nine feet tall and I just started pruning back all of the plants for fall. And I also need to, I actually still need to finish pruning back the roses. Let's just do a little walk around and see what all needs to be done.
that's why we don't have a road trip vlog this week is because I felt really overwhelmed. I have this vision of how I'm going to edit it and I want it to be really perfect. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go do something I know I can do and doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to do all the laundry from the trip. We're going to clean the house. We're going to redo the entire garden and yard and prep it for fall. And yeah, that's what I did. Let's go get coffee and then we'll come back here and look over my old journal thing and it should be just a fun little vlog. Let's go. I've had this pour over since I worked at Starbucks. It was like a little sample we got. So I'm really wanting to upgrade this whole area. Like I feel like this looks cute, but then right below it, like we need some sort of I don't want a coffee pot. We don't need that much coffee, but I think it would be nice to have like some sort of like espresso machine, but it, maybe I could figure that out soon. I have my coffee. I'm just drinking it black. It's really hot. Just the smell of it is giving me life. Let's just like get into this list and see what all is on here. Like I said, I'm only gonna read the one that I actually accomplished and then kind of reevaluate from there. Number one lose weight and this is very seems very like broad but at the time when i just turned 30 i was at the heaviest weight i'd ever been and we were also going right into 2020 and then the lockdown and we were just consuming a lot of bad food takeout alcohol uh and so yeah that that one has been a long road i actually started really focusing on being healthy again maybe like in 2021 um and it's taken that long but i have actually lost 60 pounds which is crazy because i didn't even really realize i had 60 pounds to lose i feel just a, so much healthier now like lifting weights and running every day and just like getting out for walks like i'm not so like obsessive about it i think what happened in the past is i would become like very like I have to do keto or I have to do um, low carb or I, I guess that's like also keto, but just like become so obsessed about it that it felt impossible to lose weight. But then when like something clicked for me and I think it was like weightlifting and then I realized, oh, I can actually eat bread and still maintain a healthy weight. I can say that I did that one. And so I want to continue down that path and continue to stay healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. Um, two was set up investments and make my money work for me. I grew up watching like Susie Orman on TV. For some reason, I always was just like really intrigued by um, money talk and shows about money and everything. My only knowledge about like investments up until 2020, up until I was 30 actually, was like 401ks and stock plans that you got through work. And so I had always signed up for a 401k at my like work. So in 2020, I actually ended up on the money talk side of TikTok and I bought a few books, one that I really like called I Will Teach You To Be Rich, which taught me so much. I'll link it below. So now I finally understand what Susie Orman meant by Roth IRAs and compounding interest over time and how important that is. And the sooner you start, the better outcome you have. Um, so yeah, I definitely accomplished number two, set up investments and make money work for me. And that is also an ongoing goal. Uh, three is leave corporate America. And I have felt that I didn't belong in corporate America since I worked at Starbucks corporate, which is probably one of the least corporate places I've ever worked. And my goal was really just to pay off my student loans and then leave corporate and start my own business. To be completely honest, that's really scary. And I don't think I would have done it if I hadn't been laid off in February. And even now, like while I'm working on my business, I still think about how easy and nice it would be to just go get a job because it's a guaranteed paycheck every month. So I can check that off my list. And number four is have a successful business. I cannot check that off my list yet because my business is far from successful. 
I started it, I have the LLC, everything set up, but uh, I don't know what I'm doing and everything about it is really scary to me. Still working on that one. Um, five is not something I've accomplished yet. Number seven, haven't done yet. Number eight, not done yet. Nine, nope. Ten. Ten says rework Pushprint Studio, make a poster shop. Pushprint Studio used to be just scrap scrapbooking goods and now it is a poster shop, but I have not consistently made posters, which I think I might start doing like a poster a week, which I keep thinking about and I just don't do it. And then 11 kind of goes hand in hand with that. It says sell art or art prints, which I have a ton of art that I made last year called the Ride the Wave series, which is something that I still really love. And I actually have the 100 tiny paintings I did hanging in our living room. I still might make those into prints and sell them or make one big print and sell it. That's still in the back of my mind. So, um, sell art or art prints. I'm going to say I've like kind of half done that. Okay. Number 12, this is a big one because this is like the scariest one. Um, 12 I did. It says make a YouTube. Um, and I'm so proud of myself for finally finally starting this. I can just remember back when we were even living in our first apartment in Seattle, I would film and I would sit down and edit and I couldn't even listen to my voice back. Like I was so cringed out. Even just like not being able to film myself in front of Jordan, like I still sometimes feel weird about it. But yeah, I made a YouTube channel. Number 12, that was a big one. Especially because I wanted to do it even before I turned 30. And then to put it on my 40 before 40 list when I turned 30, uh, here we are. Like I finally did it. So 16 says, find your confidence again. Did I ever have any? I feel like my confidence comes and goes. And I've heard this quote by so many people saying it online, but I read it in a book and it is that confidence is keeping the promises you make to yourself. And I find that to be so true because when I tell myself I want to do something and I follow through with that thing, I feel so confident. Um, it's not anything to do with my clothes or what I'm wearing or what I'm doing. It's, it's specifically the things that I want to accomplish and I actually follow through. Um, so yeah, I feel like I have found my confidence again through a lot of different things that I've promised myself and followed through on, but I definitely have low self-esteem from one day to the next. Um, it's not like it's just back. Um, 17, read at least 50 books. And I think I have, I would have to count up the books I've read since 2019 but I'd have to go back through. I didn't track it or anything, so I don't know. Um, 18, not done yet. 19, nope. 20, no. 22, yes, and it's to stretch every day. I do that. I like stretch every day and you have to, otherwise like, yeah. yeah, otherwise I'm just sore. So stretch every day, very important. 23, 23, 50-50. It says work on time management. 24, work on OCD and anxiety. I'm an anxious person. I am just anxious and that is something I work on every day and some days it's harder than others. So yeah, I'm still working through that one. But I would say that I have made progress. Some days more than others, but yes, I've made progress there. 26, yes, get outside more. We are always going on walks, bike rides, um, definitely getting outside more now that we have a dog. Um, and I'm in the garden a lot. So I'm definitely can say that I've accomplished that goal and I will continue to. 29, 30 and 31. Yeah, I feel like I've done this just recently. And it's funny that I wrote this when I was 30. Um, it says, get to know my camera again and pick up photography. I'm literally starting a photography business. 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, have not really, 38, get a dog. We have Finley, who I love. Um, 39, why did I put this on there? It says floss every day. Okay. Then 40 says accomplish everything on this list. So I think I got a good 16 or 17 out of the 40 on this list done or are in the works. I'm just like such a list and goal oriented person. Like I, I feel like if it's not on a list and it's not on a mood board, then it's just like bouncing around in my head. It'll never get done. I love a list. <laughs> it's definitely been my, my system my whole life. Honestly, like when I was, when I was like 16 or 17, I had decided that, well, I was working as a barista at Starbucks and I was being trained with all these like behind the counter little like tea passport and coffee passport with all these illustrations in them. And I was like, there's somebody who does this as a job. I want that job. Um, and so I wrote on a list, like my dream job was to work at the Starbucks creative studio. Like I researched it and like figured out that that was a thing. And I feel like that was a huge, like that was a really big accomplishment for me, putting that on my little 16 year old goals and dreams. And then to be 22 and get that job, 23, 22, 23. But it definitely kind of felt like, okay, what's next because like i got my dream job so quickly out of college like that was the goal that i wanted to do and then i realized like oh maybe corporate's not really for me like not because of starbucks it was amazing i think it was just like some of the things that come with working in corporate like the corporate jargon and the like wasting of time that is just like the the meetings that really don't make sense or like the churn of stuff that's like why are you, why like why did we even do this after four years of working there and then i kind of was just like oh my god what is next like i didn't have a goal and then i just kind of went straight into like even more corporate settings that was just i felt like i was floating through my career just kind of like okay like just kind of going through the motions of it um anyways all of that to say i am a huge list person i think that especially i think i mentioned this in my mood board vlog too that everything does take a lot of hard work and it also takes luck i just feel like hard work plus luck um kind of bring everything together so anyways yeah big list person that's today's video probably have the road trip vlog uploaded next sunday or the sunday after stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video Bye.